So I will and I'll get the six wins or more. But now we go, uh, now we go pay to win. Also known as uh, bat gameplay. Still good. Still good. Still good enough. You're a piece of crap. You know what? The best tier one unit. Smooth streamers. Best, uh, best tier one unit is the unit you get the most of. Eat it. <laughs> Great stuff. Good work, mosquitoes. Good work. I think you gotta roll two pigs. Beautiful. You, you need to add a little sauce to the gumbo, you know? Put a bee on a unit, throw some bees on it. Just got an ant, throw some, throw some bees on that. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> no, yes. This is bad. Uh, I like that we hit the same unit, but a uh, lot, of, lot of tanky ass units here. Uh, and, a, and a tanky ass beetle at the back means this is a loss, but it happens. You know what? We got our own bat here. Uh, Bee me? I mean, pygmy? You need a bat. It's non-negotiable. Freeze me. Roll me. I'm not... I don't know if I've ever used the tabby cat, man. I don't know if it's ever been done. I'll level with you, though. I think we're dumping this pig. Freezing a spider and, and trying to get a better unit earlier. I mean, you know what? It is a 4-3. But I think I'd still rather have a spider, even though a spider is not amazing. The, the units it can spit out can sometimes be... Dude, I get so pissed off when I'm playing somebody with a damn spider. It's an 11-6 fish, huh? But never mind. <laughs> oh! Well played. Well played. I get so pissed when I'm playing somebody that has a, 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 a shitty spider hasn't even been leveled up at all. And then uh, it spits out a ram. So basically your 2-2 your two -two spits out a 2-2 two -two that spits out two 2-2s. Two -two Just like eat me. This... Pisses me off, man. It sucks. Oh, yeah. Or it's, it's a spider in front of a kangaroo, right? So the spider attacks the kangaroo, gets a buff. The spider dies, it spits out a turtle. The turtle attacks the kangaroo, gets a buff. Then it spits out uh, melon armor on the kangaroo, and it's uh, all of a sudden it's round three. It's an 18-2 kangaroo that's just going freaking wild on you with invincibility. We don't need a swan on this build. We I, I like a swan in general, but... I, I also like the idea that this son of a gun could, in theory, level up at some point. I know that's naive of me to assume that we would run the risk of at some point having another mosquito show up. Guess I'll uh, fuck off. Buy a swan. You know what? Inner meet me on the inside. I'll take a bat meat. It's called guano, sweetheart. Is it called guano? I don't know if that's true. Oh, tough luck. Excuse me? <laughs> so you, oh, you guys don't listen to the beta band? Early caterpillar? Hey, you'd rather play an early caterpillar than a late butterfly, let me tell you. You piece. We'll accept that. We'll accept that. Okay, this is big. We're, we're getting a level up for the first time in my career. It gave us a bison, which is not the best, but it's, you know, if we get a spider here, we'll be happy we froze it. We didn't. Life goes on. Instead, do me the service of freezing me a bat and purchasing me some garlic armor. Roll me one time. Get ready to pill this ant for the low, low cost of net zero because we'll sell the bee back to the shop. And then this is this is fine. We're, we're scaling at an appropriate level right now. What makes a bat so good? Honestly, like the weakness effect is great. The fact that it, uh, please break the melon armor. Let's go. 
The fact that it uh, makes enemies take way more damage is great, but the real reason that it's great even into the late game is just because it overrides whatever their piece of equipment is. And equipment, like melon armor in particular, is a must on at least one or two units if you want to get to 10 wins. So the, the bat is just incredible. You spent six on the ant, so it's not net zero. Yeah, um, but it also gave us some wins. So you, I don't know what this is like. You eat a meal, you poop it out. You're like, oh, that's money wasted. I don't know. There's a difference. It, it, it could be money wasted in some ways if you uh, didn't use that energy to do something except talk shit in Twitch chat. But I use that to do many th lift, uh, uh, break logs for firewood, um, hunt for wild elk on my acreage and as a re they then turn that into sausage for the winter uh so i you know I, it, it's really more of a matter of what you do with you know your life than whether or not you fiscally turned a purchase into an investment um but for the time being dude, I, i'm loving this blowfish gonna, you know what here's what's gonna happen blowfish i don't care However, I, I do love him. This spider's gonna die. This spider's gonna spit out a turtle. This turtle's gonna buff our awesome spider. And then this spider's gonna go ape shit. Oh! I've got, I've got too much frozen. We, oh, snail? This dude's rolling a snail, man. Are you kidding me? Oh, turtle, turtle. You mother. All right, this is not good. This is real. This is horrible. All right, fair enough. Good snail up at the front. Um, well, well played. Well played. I know we got the whole the whole damn squads frozen. You know what? I believe you're gonna get there. I believe you're gonna get there. I do. I do. We need one spider or a chocolate. It's gonna happen at some point. You mother, oh, it's, oh, eat it. Nice five, five hatching chick, you scumbag. <laughs> we win these, four wins. You could sell a swan to get a puppy scaling, but it's just a little too late. That's what we like. Please, please give me a spider somehow. I don't know how that would even work. No, 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 no. We can't afford to sell the stuff to make this happen. Um, I mean, this does great for us right now. Hello. Hello. Look at this amazingly happy baby. Gag. Oh time. no. And then one of the girl, we named her Jennifer on my stream. Yeah. She plugged her ears. Oh, you made Jennifer plug her ears? And it was, uh. Oh, she's embarrassed. She's like. I, I almost mm. cried. Oh no. I was like, oh my God, am I doing a bad thing? No, I got, I got upset. My baby could not stop crying. Oh, you got a great grip on you there, honey. Hey, honey, where's your head? Too easy. Where's your eyeball? That's tough. Daddy, I don't want to poke my eyeball. Where's your eye? There you Yay. go. Yay. Hooray. Hooray! You gonna say hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Hi! Hi! Hi, chat! Bye! Bye, chat! <laughs> Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Oh, she's Peek she sees the cat. She's going. Peekaboo! Mm. Can you go peekaboo? <laughs> that that's the cat. Oh! Great job! Good. Pika boo. Pika boo. 
Oh man. Now that that is good stuff. That whoop. Always with the seals, man. Okay, love you. How we doing here? I, I've, I've lost track of myself, but you know what? Doesn't bother me in the slightest, because are you seeing this right here? Are you seeing this? I do hate to see a, Oh, you got the turtle to override the bat. You meta lord. You meta lord. The seal is highly slept on. In my experience, when people say a seal or any unit in this game is slept on, what they really mean is that it's not very good, but one time you picked it up and got to seven wins. That whenever I see that, people are like, people are sleeping on Tabby Cat. And I'm like, okay, so what? It, I put it in the F tier. What would you put it in? And they're like, low D. I'm like, yeah, it's really slept on. You could roll a pseudo, a pseudo food build. Seven seven four twelve is a net pretty similar change here. Thanks for the gold. Roll me. Honestly, I think you freeze this and buy this. You save that chocolate. Get your blowfish pog in a little bit. I'm happy. I'm very happy with this. <laughs> Bison? Bro, dude, we already have one. He's in the middle right here. Let's go. They hit the dog, man. Turtle? Turtle me? Caterpillar? You peace? You peace? You're not an intellectual. It's alright. We still win these. That's six wins, right? We're on believer status? Real believer status? I mean, how could you not, right? We don't need to keep a spider around anymore. I, I, look, I'm not saying the octopus wouldn't get us there. I just don't think it would. I, I still <laughs> I stand by the belief that we had that one beautiful octopus build and it has never done anything. Every time I've... The first time I had an octopus... We didn't even have any attacks. We just won just based on the effect. However, since then, every time I've seen an octopus, it's just been, it's just been killed. Honestly, straight up, man, let me tell you, I was like chili. She's like, eh, here's what you do. You freeze a bat, buy a cupcake, put it on your blowfish, get a gold in return. You mother, whatever. We missed the roll as a result. Big freaking whoop. Please. Weak, weaken that dog. Thank you. Thank you. You piece. Give it to the doubters, man. Give it to the doubters. Honestly, like, I know this has happened a few times. That's a win in mouth stream. That's not a win on my stream. If you're used to mouth standard... We, we, we do things a little bit differently around here. 5-4, we consider that a cause for derision. Um, we, the meta has gone through yet another phase of improvement. You know, we, we had like, in the first couple of days, nobody knew what they were doing. It was fun. The second phase was like people started to think about synergies and we got outscaled. And then eventually we brought it back. Now we had like a week where we were eating good. We were getting nine, eight, ten, six, three, four, ten, nine, um, consistently. Now, like turn five, you're also running into people that are like, by the way, I have an 1818 fish. So people are really like fine-tuning their decision-making process in this game. So it's good. this will make us better long term to be suffering the ill effects of it right now. This squad kind of sucks. Roll me once. This is okay. Especially because we can guarantee the health buffs. You always got to have Beetle at the back. 
little beaver sandwich. Goes really well with the um, wet fingers. Also, well, uh oh, no, no, no. They're, they're me, but slightly stronger. <laughs> we, we trade here, that's fine. Um, yeah, also, people are saying there's no penalty for leaving bad arenas, so people, like, load up the game, and then when they don't see, like, a shop that they like earlier, they just abandon that shit. I don't respect that. You should always stream, like, or you should always game like somebody's watching. That's what they tell you. Dude, it's like a B is okay, but I I value three rerolls for a fully optimized shop. Well, that's about as good as it's gonna get, because <laughs> we're not gonna freeze anything else. Um, more than that B, at least without a horse or something. This is bad. Two ants is pretty spicy. That's the beautiful ant buff. The the that first ant was largely neutralized. We win this actually. Lucky me. This is very nice. So we start... We start here. No, we start... I, I, it's fine. It's not a big deal. We start here. Tropical fish, I, I do not mind holding it early. We want to make sure it's buffing the two units most likely to stick around. That's good. Anything but the beaver was acceptable there. Very happy with this squad right now. It's another it's a pseudo scary team, but I think we're in a we're in an okay spot. You love that. We win. Okay. Just very slightly ahead of the power curve, which is fine. So I think we do like another fish. I think we make an executive decision here to sell the beaver with the maximum chance to hit the units we want to hit. Didn't hit the fish. Life goes on. Swan is fine. Basically, you get a refund on it next turn. Ant is fine, honestly. Like, you just take it, freeze the pill, roll once, and probably say that's good enough. It did hit a fish. You're not wrong. This is a scary squad. That's just about as badly as that could have possibly gone. Still get an okay trade. Melon armor is terrible here. This is a loss. No, this is a win. Never mind. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. You have a, an obligation to roll early caterpillar. You kill the ants. I really wanted to sell that swan, but you got it. If you see a caterpillar round five, I'm not. I'm not messing with that. Um, try me. It's just the one thing I didn't want you to hit. Then you got to keep this fish scaling. Now we need like some form of of hopefully like permanent scaling. We do okay against sheep. We do we do well against peacock. We do just fine against mosquito. So our swan beats their swan. Their swan. We're up to four wins already. Oh, dude, you can totally run a level one chick. Absolutely. So this is the gimme first. You have to sell your. I mean, you can sell your beetle, but you need some space here. This can really start to pop. Um, I think you can say that that beetle has served its purpose. It, it, it would help us get some wins now, don't get me wrong, but I think you got to go... Or you, you can sell your fish at some point, because you're, you're probably going to go... Get out of here. Get out of my face. We're keeping this like pretty much just for the level up right now. I would rather have a 4-9 that has upside on leveling. But then we got to figure out how we're going to buy more units. There's an easy way. But if you we need to sell this to have space to cycle to buy like the sellable units in the future. So freeze you for now. I know this looks a little goofy, 
This round, I'm not completely sold on. But I mean, we do have a 13, 16 fish. It's pretty sweet. Like, it did a lot of work there. <laughs> and it hasn't even really gotten started, so this is this is pretty good. The fish didn't even have garlic. So this is the whole reason we kept you around, honestly, is so that you could level up and then give, give us something we don't care about at all. And then you can buy me. And then you can sell me. And then you can buy me. And then you can sell me. Everyone shut up, okay? Buy me. You're gonna we're gonna get a nice combined scaling on Cause next turn we're gonna combine the fish. He's gonna get plus two to plus two to everything. Uh, and this thing's going to be... Don't worry about it. That's all, What I would say right now is don't worry about it too much. I would not mind going worm on this build. Right, right now it's looking just fine. Early melon armor just pisses me off, man. Whatever, that fish sucked anyway. Don't care, didn't ask, plus you suck. This is a nasty squad, you know? I, we, we, maybe we draw this? We draw this. But with scaling, we like it a lot. Okay, but this might be a poodleable build, man. You start here, obviously. And then you don't get the extra space. So that was pretty smart. Um, I think you definitely go, no, you, you, um, um, Okay, so we want our bison to scale. The poodle gives us some nice scaling. Three, four, three, one. If you, uh, how are you gonna do that? Because we don't want the caterpillar to, well, you know what? You put the caterpillar up at the front, then it doesn't soak up the buff um, that the poodle would give it. And the poodle is good. But we also wanna keep a space open for buying, selling for the bison so the bison can scale. So I think you buy first, and we accept this as the cost of doing business. We place this on you. Roll. Though this doesn't appear fantastic yet, I promise you, investing in a can is okay right now. There's there's some good plays on can. Microbe plus turtle equals uh, you know this this person they got an idea what they're doing. Don't get me wrong. Turns out, you know. They got us. <laughs> That's, you can't be mad about losing. That's just a fun build to run into. Uh, oh, this is like, I mean, you definitely go like this. Now, a sauropod makes food better. You could dump the hatching chick. The, the caterpillar is very close to pulling from the buffalo instead of the fish. In fact, it might even be there now. Um... And a sore, you know what? A sauropod works well for a round, no matter what. And then we can buy food in the future. Or we could sell you and buy things that give us a benefit when we buy you. I, I know that we see a squirrel synergy uh, here. I'm not sold on that. Um, it's a must get. Scaling's always valuable. You don't need to freeze a salad. No, when you get your scaling going, you, you don't dump... Uh, your units that have like bad text associated with them, you keep them going because as bad as text is, uh, is still very nice to hit somebody for 30. Poodles buffing itself instead of uh, buffalo. That is true. You know what? That is that is true information. Thank you. We'll unfreeze this. Now, you know what? You, you sold me. After all that, you did. You kind of sold me, because check this out. If we sell a fish, we might backslide for a little bit here, but it seems to work well with the seal, um, where we can then... I guess we wouldn't... Well, you know, we should feed you. Well, I don't know. I don't know if we're going to keep you yet. Let's start there.
I'm gonna level with you. I think a scaling rhino works better. You piece. It's fine. Quick little food build. Sure. That's always good, but we're pot committed right now. Rhino is never good. Uh, tell me you roll exclusively white weenie builds without telling me you roll exclusively white weenie builds. Okay, get smacked, get smacked, get smacked. We trade. That worm scares the crap out of me, man. That worm. The worm is not, but it's not scary enough. There we go. That's seven wins. You need a little garlic for sure. Garnier Fructus for you. I think we buy some food for a sweet little refund. I think we buy some food. Roll me. Re oh. We now get ready to dump either Poodle or Sauropod. And now we're... Okay, let me think about this. Gives plus two, plus two. Yeah, we next turn we sell the Poodle... And then just go, just go freaking hard, man. Yes, yes, okay. If we lose this one, nobody cares. Mm, that's not great. <laughs> In fact, that's an understatement. <laughs> it's a heck of a bad. Hey, this not Oh, you killed my poodle, you piece. Hold on, we draw these? Forget the octopus, it's a trap. Roll me. Honestly, you might as well take a steak. Now roll me. We could do it with a freeze, and then roll me. And we have to stay... We're not going to upgrade our sauropod. It's probably the next to go. We have to keep the excess gold in order to justify the buffs here in the first place. That chocolate is going to get used at some point. We haven't, we haven't found the right opportunity. <laughs> Hither to this point. At least the dog goes... This is a nasty squad, man. That being said, we draw. We draw these. I'm going. We have to <sighs> let it roll. Let it roll one more time. Because we got to stay on three. I think the T Rex is much more valuable to scale than the Rhino. Why are you committing on Rhino? Get ready to be ashamed of your words and your deeds, by the way. It, the, the, the shame is coming. Like Sam Cook said, a shame is gonna come. We might kill you. It, ni nice melon armor. Too bad uh, you're dead. And too bad we won easily. Okay, that takes us to eight. You had one buy left. Who who wants to do the who wants to do the honors in chat? <clears throat> Tyrannosaurus Rex. It's a tier six unit with an effect at the end of your turn. If you have three or more gold, give your other friends plus two plus two. So you know what? Keep your lulls in a sack and sit on it. Just like he sat on the chocolate there. The sauropod doesn't have to exist anymore. However, he's scaling like a son of a gun. And I love it. I, t I take nothing here. Well, you know... <sighs> We'll roll it. Roll once. I would prefer... I, I need melon, man. Melon is like, that's how we win the game. If we get a, if we get two melon, one for you and one for the bison or the buffalo, then we're then we're set. 
Garlic is like is is too late in the game for it to be super useful. This is just a nasty squad, man. Are you see that? Look at the the poodle plus the T Rex. Holy crap! Jeez, Louise. Then why did you freeze pair? Well, because pair is also a, a, a nice little two two here, two two here, and gives us a refund. So I thought it was a reasonable uh, use case. You know what? I'm, no, we still want you up at the front, but. Um, you are just better, so go ahead and take that for the time being. With 4-4, four, four, we could probably just roll once here. Okay, okay. I'll freeze a little sushi anyway. I know it seems a little backwards, but... The, the only thing that really we're looking for on this build is either things to scale our T-Rex, just in case. Or, and number one is melon on our, uh on our Rhino. Our Rhino also, it doesn't just counter White Weenie, it also does a great job of taking out Melon Armor, which is like, it's pretty sweet, honestly. That sucks, unfortunately. <laughs> Hold on, all is not lost yet. Easiest win of my life. That takes us to uh, nine wins. I think we look for our next level Rhino. Melon is, is a must-buy. We can buy chocolate, and with the refund, we'll still get to three gold. Absolutely beautiful. That's it, You couldn't really ask for like a, a better series of events than that. Now it's, it's all up to our enemy builds. We got two... Chances to run into some enemy builds that are not that good. This one is a fucking nightmare. The scorpion at least dies without killing us. I thought melon protected you from... Maybe it was just stats? Were its stats just strong enough to, to get me? I thought, because melon protects you from uh, poison, doesn't it? It did more... Okay, it did enough damage. Fair enough. Certainly don't need you. Um... Look, Melon on Sauropod is going to be helpful. I mean, we, we can do one more. Buy the best food. <laughs> and place it on, on you, I suppose. And then we'll still be a three for scaling. I still think this team can win. We just want to see the... A, a not nightmarish team. This looks possible. It's a scary team, but we're a scary team too. We're gonna break. Oh, they, mm, mm. they're gonna get us by one rooster. All right, you got me. But still. Nine wins, that's the best run of the day so far. We take those. Believers get paid out. Good scaling to get us out of a jam there. And then Will and L get six wins or more. We're still, we're running it back. Acceptable? Acceptable. Kinda hate this squad. Uh, we'll be the illegal ice cubes. This is, this is, I, in Hearthstone Battlegrounds context, I would say 40% chance of victory. Beautiful shot. Our odds of victory have just risen to zero, <laughs> but our odds of drawing are very good. <laughs> we have to buy a mosquito. The stats on a beetle are very good. None of these warrant purchasing, so instead we just put honey on our beetle, which gives everybody else in the shop plus one, plus one. Wah, 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 wah. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was everybody on the squad gets, uh, gets plus one HP. Uh, nice try. You, li you like to see that. We do like to see that. I think this is a win, man. I don't even think we touch our ladybug. This is a nice, clean win.
we gotta try to get up here a little bit. So we, we do one of these. We roll once. You're a real piece of crap, you know that? IMO, this is heavy rolls. That's a huge play. I'm thrilled. Sell me a fish. Buy me a bat. Pass me a bottle, Mr. Jones. That that's that's a huge build. I would love to do a hyper buy sell build. It just it has to be at the right time. I don't shy away from the buy sell. I've been known to buy and or sell. We're lo so lucky with the way that worked out. But uh it's it's got to be it's got to be right and I'm not sure it's right yet. God, I just want to level up, man. Like I know this is maybe not What the fuck? This is a dream come true. <laughs> I mean, you freeze, freeze, for sure. Then you freeze. Like, our next round, like, this this fight right here might suck kind of badly. But this is a great setup for the future. Especially, dude, now we get, like, bats and deer for, like, some chili pepper. Oh, this is a loss. Like, double flamingo into an 810 blowfish. Like, that's just a damn nightmare. Just, just accept this one. There's no fast forward button fast enough to get me through this. That's that's a nice squad. You gotta respect a squad like that. And this is the one time I'm gonna be happy to like freeze an entire shop. Oh my god, that's so good. <laughs> okay, so now you buy a poodle early and you just make sure your squad has different tiers of animals and you do super well as a result. Um, you don't, you can buy a deer early and it'll work really well with the bat. Uh, and then you'll, you just position the deer so it doesn't get buffed and the poodle gets buffed instead. So, we will, for now, this might be like, we might have to do this like piecemeal. But I think you can sell a mosquito. You buy a poodle, place it at the back. Buff, buff, buff. No buff. No buff. So the swan will go at some point. Okay. Um, buff, buff. This is hey, we're gonna keep this beetle. Like we, it's nice to have a tier one unit that has a lot of time to scale. Um, the swan will go at some point. For now, you're tier four. So we, I, a deer is just gonna work so well with our level two bat. I feel like it's basically non-negotiable. So you might as well sell your cricket. You guys want some crickets? Get a deer out there, which is going to absolutely destroy with your level 2 bat. Basically, the caterpillar inherits the scaling from something. So you probably sell swan and buy caterpillar. It's going to be a... a and it's going to suck soak up some buffs in the meantime as well from the poodle, which is nice. Um, this This will be interesting. We need to live for a little bit. But I think we've got a great squad for temporary living. Yeah. I mean, this is uh, the, the most undeserved win of all time, but... Look, this is like a, a super shoot. The you know what? <laughs> for th three gold, we get a level up and we can sell something for two gold. So for one gold... Oh, but it's not because we're on an even numbered turn, it's not gonna uh, move us up a level. So, sell beetle, keep swan. No, because the beetle is a tier one, so it gets scaling for the poodle. The swan is a level two, so it, it does not get scaling because our bat takes it. We want the bat to take it long term, you know, because it's gonna stick around longer. So, we want a caterpillar, and it has to take the swan's place. So, the best time to do that is as soon as possible. Um, we, Caterpillar is not going to be too bad. They're going to soak up some of the buffs themselves. Hook me up. Juice me, squeeze me. You already knew that was coming. The deer will not be a long-term choice. The caterpillar doesn't need buffs, but it doesn't matter because it's not taking buffs from anything else. And also, it's nice that it gets buffs, so it's like a little bit more survivable instead of just being a 1-4. On its way to leveling, it has, it has the ability to contribute to the squad. And it's also going to 
get buffed because it, no matter what gets buffed, it takes its buffs. So we want to basically, I, I almost feel like we're in heavy roll to get the poodle going hard here. Hatching chick is a level three. Doesn't really fit what we're doing, but it, I thought about it. Turtle is very nice. It's also a tier three. You could sell the, honestly, it's a tough one for me because the deer is doing gray stuff. The reason I don't want to give it meat is because we're like going to sell it at some point, but it's not a terrible decision. I almost feel like I feel like you like a turtle, almost, but the splash damage is so good. You know what? I'm I'm willing to accept this. We can get a turtle later if we want one. Um garlic on bat could do us some work now. Still in a, a delicate period. Interesting. What an interesting situation we have here. We're insanely lucky that none of our great units got hit by uh, the weakness. But you know what? That's, that's just bad gameplay, man. This is exactly what we're looking for. Beetle is oof. Just you wait. Like, here's the thing. We're on the way up, maybe we'll buy some cans, and then we can replace our beetle with a different unit. But you're not going to be saying the beetle's oof when it's hidden for 40, okay? I, I promise you. Prepare yourself. Now, what's our best unit for now is you. So let's just invest in you. Keep it coming here. Absolutely beautiful weakness yet again. I don't know what to say. Like, we're just insanely lucky. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> okay. I'm not that attached to the beetle. That's a sellable buyable. Buffable buffable. Poodle me, you piece. Poodle me. Don't respect it. I don't respect it. I respect it. Can me. Buff me. Roll me for one turn. I would, as long as we're winning. I don't care who you are, what you did, where you're from, as long as we're buffing, okay? This Rhino, we, we would have loved to see some weakness there, but life, life comes at you fast. As long as we trade with the Rhino, I'm sweating it, but I'm not sweating it that much. We don't quite do enough, but that's our first loss there. That's okay. Dog weakness was good, but not quite good enough. Beautiful. Um, chocolate is a gimme. Certainly seems like you play dragon here. And you probably, I feel like you probably use the deer as your, as your flex position so you can scale your buffs as fast as possible. But we need to see some tier ones in order to justify it. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. So we can make the caterpillar into a butterfly next turn. This is, this is some spooky stuff, man. This, this is an incredible shop. There was a poodle in there? So what? What, poodle's supposed to be good now? Owns? Okay, I don't- I, I see some scary units! But they're not that scary! They're not that scary! There's the believer win. That's why people doubt, I get it. Good, good message from a first-time chatter. Welcome to chat. You're, you're fulfilling the chat prophecy of uh, comedic timing. As believers get paid out. So on now I understand why people doubt. Very sensible. Valedictorian. I was going to say valedictorian at Clown College. Maybe that's a little too far. I, I apologize. Okay. So you can roll... We don't need the poodles, man. We scale faster 
We, like, okay, a, a poodle getting a level three is okay, all right? But a T-Rex does what a level two poodle does as a level one. It wasn't that that time. There's a caterpillar. I don't want a caterpillar. I got chocolate, man. It's the perfect fit. You wasted chocolate? You will see how wasted the chocolate is when we're popping champagne bottles at 10 wins. Now, I mean, this is just a... It's a There's spice here, okay? But it's a sell me, buy me. There's the problem is a T Rex is a is a very easy plus two plus two. We like that. Nobody doesn't like that. However, it doesn't buff itself. I think you want to leave a space open to trade tier ones. That way you can give plus one, plus ones easily to everybody. I don't think you take T-Rex here. I know it's, well, you have to think about, okay, so the T-Rex is buffing Bat, Dragon, Poodle, Caterpillar. Which is exactly what's being buffed by buying a tier one. Only when we buy a tier one, we can also get the upside from purchasing it. And we can get the upside. You know, okay, here's the thing. I think it, it works great on this turn, no doubt. Because for three gold, we get a plus two, plus two on everybody, which is amazing. But we may sell it in the future. In order to have a tier one spot where we can buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. This looks okay. Would have liked to have hit that ladybug. You got a 3925 ladybug burning a hole in your pocket back there. We don't sweat that. That's the easiest win of my life. Dragon Force is a four squad. Uh, well, yes and no. Hey, it, like as we get cans and stuff like that, I don't mind throwing out like, you know, a 10-10 a uh, fish that also gives a buff to everything else. Like this is a pretty good get. 10, 10, 13, 18, like, who cares? We're on round 11 with seven wins. For now, let's not sweat the uh, the T-Rex. Let's leave him there. And what are, did, did we unlock tier sixes? Because if we unlock tier sixes, I want to try to get some... Well, I guess we'll keep him around if we're going to do that. But I want to try to get some melon armors. Melon armor on our strongest units. Maybe a, maybe a turtle instead of a instead of a dragon at some point. This is looking fine though. We don't sweat that. Time's getting close though. Like we're 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 almost at the end of the game. <laughs> okay. Um. So we want to we could sell a dragon. In order to basically, just think of it this way, to get two caterpillars. So you sell a dragon. Or, no, we want two melons. This is good. You sell the dragon. You buy the turtle. We could pill him later. But for now, we apply the melon armor to the bad. Because garlic is irrelevant. You can, we can get two rolls. Don't really care for a can here. Pizza, pizza's okay. We could do double pizza next turn. I'd rather have a chance to get chocolate, I think. This, this is fine. This is fine. Now, you, we want the turtle. I, ideally, I was going to say we want the turtle behind the caterpillar so it gets the buff, but it's irrelevant because um, we can't put the turtle behind the caterpillar and then also have the melon armor pass forward. So the, let's just accept the fact that turtle's not going to get our buff here, and that's okay. Or the caterpillar, yeah, the turtle's not going to get our buff. That's what I meant to say. Okay. Love the way, don't replace my melon armor, you piece. Whatever, you're a piece, but piece this. We like it. This is, this is a little spicy. This one's looking a little spicy. In fact, we're just going to die. 
but we ran into a tight squad there. This is a play. Eight wins. Roll me. Pizza me. Send me. Confirm me. At some point, we're going to want to get rid of this turtle or level it up to level two. Weak in the front. You're a piece. Sorry, I didn't get weak in myself. Nice trades. Very nice. This is a win. Two goats. Sorry to tell you, I'm you but stronger. One up is pretty irrelevant, unfortunately. I think we gotta try. I would rather get level two armor than plus four plus four on everybody if we can get another turtle. So I'm gonna roll down a little. I understand. To be honest, th this is not going to be a popular decision. There's a chance, though. Dude, it's a similar squad, but I like mine more. <laughs> I think this is, this is a 10 spot. It's a pretty easy 10 spot at that. All right. Dude, no problem. Choose outcome. Will NL get six wins or more? This is one of the easiest yeses of my life. We'll throw in a slash marker. SAP 2. 